everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So today we're going to do two things. One, we're going to fit the uh, refit the um, catapult and the Jagermech. But the first thing we need to do is get enough funds to be able to do that. So we're going to repair our Hunchback and Mjolnir here first. Um, we want to get them back into battle so we can run another contract here before the end of the month. That should just take right to there. And we got one day. So let's have a look at our command center. There's a mission here I think we can probably do. It's kind of boring. Destroy base. Stop the signal. Um, I think we're going to do this one. And we're going to need a little bit of sea bills, I think, to be able to do what we need to do here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave this, I think, right down the center. One of seven. Just in case there's some choice mech parts that we can pick up. Great. If not, um, you know, we'll get something out of it. Maybe an engine or something. And then we get some sea bills to repair our mechs with. So let's accept this. All right, so let's leave these guys here. Rhino can pilot, I think, the catapult, and we'll put Rocky in the Centurion. Um, yeah, we'll go this route, I think. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, it's just slightly underweight. Command interface initiated. There we go. Let's go. Base destruction underway. Ah, yes, this map. Here we go. So generally, you have to fight through the uh, reinforcements with turrets in the background. Uh, we want to make sure these turrets can't hit us directly, so we're going to try and get behind over here. Um, some kind of cover until we need to engage them. Um, standing by. So let's sprint over here. We do have the long-range weapons. We got a lot of indirect now as well, which is good. Standing by. A couple of good direct fire mechs, a couple of good indirect fire mechs. So we're going to refit the um, Jaeger mech today. We picked up a couple of LBX 10s. Well, we have one already. Picked up another one last episode. And we're going to run it with two LBX 10s, I think. Got a ballistic TTS on it already. Alright. What do we got here? Wolverine, Valkyrie, a flea, and a raven. Cool. Ravens usually got some good stuff on them. Ready for orders. Really hard to hit, but they got some good stuff on them. Uh, we want to sprint or we want to run? Let's just move. Ah, crap. Really? Six million dollar man. Let's shoot the raven, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Only four. I don't think it really matters who we shoot at this point. Valkyrie. Wolverine. Um, turret? Can't hit the turret. That's a hardened turret chassis, 100 ton. We don't... We know what's in it. Large laser, four mediums. Okay, that's pretty good. So this guy's got a narc. It's nice that we can know what they've got already here. So this guy's got a narc. Small pulse, small LRM 15 plus, really, eh? Flea, no armor. Large laser. LRM 10, a medium laser with a Valkyrie. And this guy's a standard loadout. Half armor. So I think, let's go after the flea. If we get lucky, we do some good damage on him, but you never know. Let's drop some stuff on his ass here. Oh, penetrated already somewhere. Target's taken a critical hit. Nice. Order. Thank you, thank you very much. Six million dollar man. All right, um, dropping them on the flea. Let's do this. Uh, we want a better chance to hit. Mm, ah, it's just fire. Roger. Here it comes. Eh. Ah. Think I hit something good. I think you did too. Here comes that raven. Trying to speed up their movement, guys, but this is going to be another painful episode. 
I don't know why certain maps are like this. No hits with the LRM. Like everything works except for the it's movement. Commander. I don't understand it. Let's get maximum move. Quick saving it. Let's see if we can finish this flea up. Yep, there we go. Down. That problem solved. Come on. Starting to have flashbacks of that Weapon X Wolverine. Don't even know if you remember that first flashpoint. I don't know why I moved in so close. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just thinking, ah, he's almost dead. No problem. We'll be able to shoot him and finish him off. And that Weapon X Wolverine took out my hunchback with one punch. Lost the mech. That sucked. That was a wake-up call to some of my stupidity, I think. It's like, dude, you can't play the game like that. I like to say in my defense I was half awake, but that's not a defense. Alright, let's make sure we do max damage. I want to remove this turret. Or do I? No, I want to remove this friggin' raven, man. Let's do it. Okay, two good hits. Solid connection on that one. Oh, he's knocked over. Good. Maybe we took his leg. Okay, so there's the PPC turret back there. Okay, it's a good thing they don't have any LRM turrets. I'm just dreading that Thunderbolt turret. We faced a couple of those Thunderbolt turrets already. Well, we managed to survive. They did a hell of a lot of damage to us. For order. Yeah, I definitely need to move. We don't want to be standing still. As much as I hate having to move. Alright, let's see if we can finish off the Raven. And then I don't have to move the Centurion. There we go. Hostile eliminated. So Rocky can just stand still, I think. Commander. Valkyrie's next. And fire. Confirmed. Okay, Steve. Let's give him the what for. Six million dollars, Steve. Fifty one. 57. Well, that's pretty good chances. Let's fire on the turret. Okay, that's nice. Excellent. Excellent. Come on. Let's get you on this Wolverine. Warlord it up. I'm gonna fire at him. Eh, not a bad start. Not too worried about these guys. They've got half armor, so they should drop pretty quickly. Okay, Valkyrie, what are you doing? That's a PPC turret. Okay, you know, so you notice these, these turrets just all of a sudden popped up. Um, we do a sensor roll every turn, so sometimes um, your sensors will be increased every turn. Um, 
I think you get a certain number of sensor rolls every turn um, at the beginning of the turn and you can defeat depending on how good your sensors or your uh, sensors are you can defeat enemies sensors uh, what am I gonna do here I'm gonna do this but maybe we do it on yeah I don't know doesn't really matter I guess let's just go after this PPC turret back here hmm kind of a waste of a shot if we do that let's do it on this one Oh, nice shooting, man. Receiving you. Sorry for the slow motion. You know what would be good load on this Centurion? All MMLs in the shoulder. I think he's got four missile hard points. Pretty sure he does. Uh, if we can get... Um, if we can get... Um, nice. Um, four sets of MMLs. So we can put them in his shoulder. Use them for a close-range brawler. So maybe if we can get some stuff for the Bushwhacker, maybe we can outfit him with uh, the four MMLs the Bushwhacker has. But really for those MMLs to be really effective, you got to be fairly close. So you need some good speed, you know? Wow. Standard turret. So we're going to shoot on this guy. He's completely unstable. Confirmed. Should be able to knock him down here, I think. Nope. Valkyrie. So, I, I don't know. I think jumping might... Ah, I'm still up in the air now whether we want to have jumping mechs or not. I, there's some instances where I've seen that it might be good. But for the most part, I really haven't encountered anything where I sa I've said to myself, man, I have to have a jumping mech. Um, so B is going to get these guys. Just trying to knock him down. Well, or blowing him up. That works too. Oh, not enough. I thought I had enough there with three. Okay, good thing those missed. Once again, you know, you can see here how having those missile mechs definitely a huge advantage against direct firing turrets and stuff. Roger. Like this turret can't do anything to us now. We just shoot it from long distance and it's gone, right? Turret destroyed. Commander? Okay, so I'm counting on uh, Rhino to take out that uh, other turret. So we're going to work on this Valkyrie here. He's completely unsteady because he's been jumping around. The thing I don't like about jumping is it makes you unsteady, right? Which is completely accurate because if you think about it, I mean, it's so hard to jump great distance in a big heavy machine, land, and then not be unstable. At least for one turn anyway, right? Yeah, we just had to make sure. Okay, Rhinoch, the patron saint. Roger. Drop it, drop it like it's hot. Bye bye. One less turn. Okay, Rocky. What's up, boss? We don't even need to like. Oh, we can't see the turret now. See what I mean? We lost our sensors on this guy. So, we're going to reserve. Waiting for the shot. Hopefully we can get some sensors on by moving in here. Copy that, Commander. 
Um, nope. Alright. Can't even target the buildings. Something's weird. Should be able to target the buildings from this distance. Alright, Steve, what are your sensors like today? Full throttle. Nope. Receiving you. So hopefully next time we can spot that guy. Okay, rocket up here. Copy that. Oh now we got it. That was weird. All right, firing. I copy. Oh, that's a direct line of sight. That's weird. Figures. So they're gonna have to fix that. Waiting for orders. Um, not being able to target the buildings, I guess, until they're within sight radius. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, they got reserves. Oh, that figures. Oh, good. Medium building, 150 health. Got enough. Let's kill it. Engaging target. Enemy structure damage, Commander. Bring it down. It's history. Structure down. It's history. Okay, I don't know what we're up against. I don't want to get into a position where Valkyrie, Bushwhacker, Urban Mech, and Valkyrie. So not too bad. Let's get rid of this turret. It is a kind of a hassle turret. Um, Very annoying turret. Let's hope I hit with the, uh, yeah, we did. Okay, nice. And Steve. Two hundred, eh? Forty-four percent chance. Okay, let's do this. Let's take out this building. There we go. So that building's gone. One left. Nice damage on that guy. Good thing that turret can't hit where the beans. All right, our round. Yes, Commander. Definitely have to move. Um, since we can't hit that guy with the thunderbolts, and we don't have multi-target, let's just target the bushwhacker. What the heck? Yeah. Commander. I copy. All right, everything on this guy. Firing. I moved outside of range. Damn it! It was weird. I was thinking, oh, that's a little too far. I shouldn't move that far. I'm like, oh no, it'll hit from there. It's a Thunderbolt 20. Nope. And nope. 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 So this guy's got unknown left. Large building needs 200. So we're gonna just shoot. Yep. 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 Just wanted to make sure we could kill it. Target destroyed. All right, Speeve. 
Show them, show them why they call you Savage Steve. And firing. Nice, two hits. CT hits, this guy's almost done. Arm 10, total miss. Welcome to the battle, buddy. I mean, you were here before, but you really didn't do anything. Oh, AC-10 jammed. So the other thing I'm worried about with the Jagermack is getting those jams. Has this guy got his back to us? Oh, he's trying to run away. Yes, Commander. Let's get a direct shot on this guy. And fire. Everything I've got. Standing by. All right, Rocky. Same thing, please. On it. Everything on this guy. That hit something good. No knockdown, eh? All right, so we're gonna multi-target again. Like this. Engaging multiple targets. Nice. I was shocked I didn't knock them down though. All right, there's our buildings. Alright, let's kill this whacker. And fire. And that's him. Alright, who's next? Two Valkyries and an urban mech. These guys are moving really slow, so they must be like inexperienced pilots. But then again, it was like a two skull mission, so it's not like it was like a big deal, right? Here he comes, making himself unstable. Wow, nice shooting, buddy. Light damage. Wait, does this guy have SRMs? That's the SRM. MML 9s. Cool, I'd like to have that. So let's get on this guy. Should be in medium laser range now. Yeah, we're gonna warlord this guy. See if we can get some good damage going on him. Firing. Uh, or kill him, that works too. Hopefully that MML wasn't in the left torso. I think those guys, if I'm not mistaken, have their stuff in the right torso. Could be completely wrong though. Who's who here, Valkyrie? Urban Mac, my guess since this guy has not fired yet. He is the AC-20 version, so we should probably target him first. Reporting critical hit. What is the absolute worst thing about the AC-20 Urban Mac? That is an easy answer, and that is it can take your head off with one shot. Which is why you need to kill them with extreme prejudice whenever you see them. Like that. I don't know how I killed that guy, but apparently we killed him. Coming down. Alright, so let's drop in a warlord attack, and we'll drop in everything on this guy. Here it comes, folks. Nah, I was hoping for a kill. Would have been nice. So it was nice that we were fa facing the under armored versions of these guys. He can't get away. I don't know where he thinks he's going. 
If these guys were fully armored, this battle would take a hell of a lot longer. We still need to work on the Agarmac. I think we'll leave the uh, Archer for today, but the Agarmac definitely needs to be refit. Um, so we will refit that as soon as we get back to the ship. This is almost done, I think. This guy's got nothing left here. Alright, finish him up, buddy. Do it, cat. Ask you, wee wee. There we go. There it is, folks. Another mission down. All right, increased by forty-five percent payment, seven hundred and eleven thousand. That's good. We didn't take much damage at all. I don't think we took any. I didn't see any crits, so yeah, we're fine. Once again, those missile launching mechs work really well in that mission. I think if the train wasn't so hilly like it was, they probably wouldn't have done as well. So, plus one accuracy LRMs. MML9. I think we should probably take that. I really like that. Cockpit Resolve, no big deal. XL Gyro, we've got one right now. Nothing else really exciting in here, but I think that MML9 is probably going to get the most use. Six tons. Potential damage is... 108? Something like that? Right? Nine damage? It does more than nine damage, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll, we're going to take it. Alright, Flea, Valkyrie, Parts, LRM, Accuracy. Yeah, crap. Alright, there we go. 20,000, so nothing for repairs. That worked out really, really well. So we're going to go right into repairing that Jager mech. I want to see what we can do with it here. So let's have a look at the bays. Not overly excited about what the damage output in this thing is going to be, but definitely want to see what it's going to do here. I think maybe we'll take it into the next battle just to see what it's like. So we're going to do a repair all, and we're going to strip out... Um, all of this stuff for now. Case, okay, so these guys. We don't have any upper arm mounts, unfortunately. It would be nice to have those, but we don't. Ballistic, so we've got... Uh, where are we here? Yeah, we got two LBX-10s. We don't need a lot of ammo for these. We could probably go with three tons in total. Now, we do have Case 2 now. So let's go and look for that. Um, where are you here? We got a targeting computer already on this guy. It's probably better to leave that on this one, I think. And then we got the ballistic targeting. Um, virtual reality pod, accuracy and initiative. This might be better on, I don't know, Mjolnir maybe? I don't know. Or Mjolnir, where am I looking here? Got the XL Gyro. We not have, we don't have an EMS on this, or an ACM. I mean, let's drop that in. Definitely going to need one of these guys, uh, and then let's probably go back. We have bonus accuracy medium lasers. Let's drop one on each torso. Uh, where is our case two? Here we go. And no, we're going to need one extra ton from somewhere. Uh, weapons, ballistic ammo, AC-10. Now I don't think we can use precision ammo with these. Or can we? It doesn't say anywhere that you can't. It doesn't say anywhere that you can't. I wonder if we can use accuracy ammo. Check the store here. Don't know if they've got, if we have the ability to get accuracy ammo yet. Ammo. AC 10 safe. Uh, no, we don't. Okay, well, we're going to need at least one more ton. New equipment available. 
So this will give us 12, 12 turns of firing. Um, wait, do we have enough AC 10, 10 ammo already? Oh, now we got enough. All right, so we're gonna need to remove one ton somewhere. How much heat is this outputting? Nine. Well, double heatsink kit's not killing us, so we'll leave it in. Um, do we have any way to make this lighter? We have a light engine. The question is, do I want to waste it on this mech? I mean, is it a waste? Our heat efficiency should be perfect. We could put two more medium lasers in here too, right? And still be really well off heat-wise. We have a bonus accuracy. Let's just drop regular ones in. Well, let's put a regular one on this side and then a bonus accuracy one in. That gives us three accuracy. This one's minus one to hit, so we don't really want to use that on this guy. Uh, this would be good on a mech that's really close to enemies. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. That, I think that's pretty good. It's not it's not the best. I mean, our heat efficiency is pretty damn good. Considering we're not going to be using these all the time. What's our range with this? 630. It's pretty good range. These are 330. Yeah, let's go this route. I'm actually kind of liking this. Let's confirm this. A million sea bills to do this. It's going to cost me a million sea bills. A serious. Wow. I don't know why it's going to cost so much. The light engine, probably. Oh my god, putting the light engine in. Oh. Wow. I don't even know what to say to that. Um. have no idea what to say to that. I can't, I can't spend a million sea bills on this thing, not like that. Um, and we don't really have the weight to put anything bigger. I mean, if we, we, I don't, we can't change the core. We only got two. Like if we changed it to a 200, let's say. Then we need to drop two heat sinks in. That to be double heat sinks. Right? So do we have two double heat sinks? We've got one. Oh, this is getting uh do this yeah that light engine man it's gonna cost us a million to put a light engine in um, so we get two free heat sinks this way It's sad that if we go back to like Well, you know what? Let's grab the third accuracy medium laser. And then we fill the rest up with regular heat sinks. 
just for now. So let's put uh, four in the legs. Heat efficiency is kind of stinky, but if we rotate out a medium laser, it'd be pretty good. It's almost as good as the other one we had set up with the light engine in it. We're slower. But I'm not spending a million million C bill, C, a million C bills at this point. We also got this proto heatsink kit too. I think we're going to drop this in the Mjolnir probably because we got these proto heatsinks that can go along with it. It just means if the Mjolnir takes takes damage and this goes out of commission, it's a complete rebuild. Um, let's confirm this. 13 days, 111,000. There we go. So that's going to be up and running. And we got one day to the financial report. Um, Jagermax back in 13. Bushwhacker in 10. Do those two first. Yeah, let's go this route. Centurion didn't get damaged last battle. We can run another mission right after the catapult comes back. So maybe we do go this way instead. Then it's four days rather than five. So that's probably what we're going to do here. Let's close this up. All right, we're going to end the episode here. Um, not 100% happy with that Jager Mac output, but I don't know. Once it's up and running, we'll try it, see what happens. I think what we'll do once we get started getting even more C bills is we're going to bring the Wolverine forward, get it set up as a melee mech, um, and we'll continue along. I don't think we're going to take another mission here. We'll probably go to another system. Probably before the next episode, but we'll jump to another another system. And keep milking some stuff as we go along. Uh, as we're heading towards the clans. We're getting better gear as we move along. We should have two lances completely outfitted and up and running by the time we get to where the clans are. Um, so we can start taking clan missions. And uh, yeah get some even better gear. All right, so if you liked the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you all later.